let's do something really cool. Let's say that we had some audio recorded on set and it was noisy. We needed to re-record it, so we've got an ADR session. We've got our on-set audio, and we need to reconcile the, the ADR audio with the on-set audio. And for those of you who have ever done ADR work, you know that you want to have somebody else do it because it's just painful. Audition makes it easy. Watch this. Let's go up to here and say close all. I'm not going to save any changes because I want to come back to where I left off. And let's go to file. Let's open up a recent project, which is speech align. Here is the original onset audio in the track called onset. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent. Okay, then I went and I re-recorded it because I needed to have a richer sound. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent. Now, if you've ever worked with onset audio, it's never as good as what we just listened to. There's noise and clanking and goodness knows what all. The, the gremlins conspire to make onset audio as bad as it possibly can be. So now I've got to reconcile these two, but if I play these two clips together, here's a problem. One of, One our, of our key, key audio, audio challenges, challenges is, is getting, getting the, the same, same talent, talent recorded, recorded on, on different... They don't sync. So now I've got to adjust on a syllable-by-syllable -syllable basis to take this ADR and get it to lip sync with the, with the on-set audio, which, as you can imagine, is not for the faint of heart nor somebody that's in a hurry. This is a painstaking process. But watch what Audition does. I'm going to select these two clips here. Then I go up to the clip menu and go to automatic speech alignment. I want to align my reference. My onset clip is called Mic 2. We can see the name of the clip there. It's in the track where I'm putting all of my onset audio. And I want to move around the clip called Mic 1. That's, you can see the clip header there. I want to have it be really tightly aligned. The default is balanced alignment and stretching, but I want to have real tight alignment because it's going to stretch the clip, speed it up or slow it down without changing the pitch if I ask it to. And I'm going to have it add a new track, click OK. That quickly, it's aligned it. Now look at the header. I've got one that's mic two, one that's mic one. My aligned track has been mic one voiceover aligned. It's in the middle. Let's mute mic one. Let's listen to the source clip, which is here, with the align clip and see how tightly aligned they are. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent, which is pretty darn amazing, recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. Now, these clips didn't even start at the same time. Yeah, they were in the ballpark, but we heard before they weren't perfectly aligned. Now, let's take a listen to the aligned clip and see what it sounds like. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. Now, the reason I chose this option is I wanted to get the alignment really tight. Let me just undo this, select both clips. What I would do in real life is a slightly different setting. Clip, go to automatic speech alignment, and I would change this to balanced alignment and stretching because I end up with a higher quality result. Click OK. Look for the clip that's got aligned in the title, and now when I solo this and play it... One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days. Which is just amazing. If you've ever spent days, even weeks, trying to get ADR to work with your project, this can get you so close so quickly that all you have to do is spend time with the exceptions, not spend time with the vast majority, which can be automatically aligned, using Audition. This has been an excerpt of a power-up webinar looking at audio for video inside Adobe Audition. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 180. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.